Hello and welcome to the Tool Hut channel. Today we're going to continue our series on J2534 for beginners advice. This is the third segment of it and we're going to talk about J2534 interfaces today. While you got a second, why don't you go ahead and click that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell if you want to be notified when stuff comes out. I welcome any questions or comments you may have down below. Okay, first things first. Any of the equipment that you see used in my videos is available on the website. If it's not there, send me an inquiry off the website toolhutusa.com. That's T O O L H U T USA.com. My name is Sam. Okay, so before we get carried away here, let's go over a little history lesson of what is J2534. J2534 was an EPA protocol. They did it in combination with CARB. And what it was intended for was for the aftermarket shops to be able to do emissions related calibration updates. So a car was out of warranty, customers were complaining that, hey, I can't, I got to take this car to the dealer to get it updated. And they didn't like the restriction. So they came up with J2534. I just want you to understand it was intended for emissions related calibrations starting with model year 2004. So we're going to go through this a little more, but this is the intention of J2534. Okay, we've covered what J2534 is. Let's cover what J2534 is not. Nobody said it was going to be free. Nobody said it was going to be easy. What it was originally wrote, it was not intended for module replacement. Sometimes there's functions that need to be done that J2534 cannot do. It's not intended for all modules. Many manufacturers restricted what you could program, and many manufacturers did not restrict what you could program. So that brings us back to our OE versus J2534 debate. So what's the difference between J2534 programming and OE programming? It really depends. It depends on the manufacturer. If the module is accept accessible through J2534, it's usually very little. But some manufacturers, there's a huge difference. So I guess what the point I want to drive home here is as I've said in the other videos, make a decision what you're going to program, understand what the restrictions are versus the OE, and make a decision. Hey, I'm going to program these J2534, or I'm going to buy the OE tool and do it OE. So this is where we're at. So in all of reality, where is the restriction? Is it with the J2534 device? Sometimes. Is it with the OE software available for J2534? Sometimes, I know, real cl clear, concise answers, right? So that brings me back to my point in the original videos, the first couple of videos. Study what you want to manufacture, understand what the differences are, and buy the right device to do your job. So I'm going to give you a few examples here without trying to try not to get real specific on which devices but I'm going to try to give you some direction here <clears throat> of what to buy so okay so if you're still with me at this part of the the series that we're doing here it brings me to my question are you ready to buy an interface so a couple of rules for buying an interface buy from a company that offers support Look for something that's widely accepted by manufacturers you intend to program and understand before you buy something what the limitations are. Just because a J2534 device says it supports a certain manufacturer does not mean it's a good idea to program it. 
I'm going to give you a few examples. Yeah, we're going to get to the heart of the matter here. You ready? Let's go. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to give you some recommendations of manufacturers that you can program J2534 versus OE. Now, this isn't a list from some J2534 scan tool manufacturer or anybody. This is a recommendation from me based on experience in the field. So, you know, t show it to your tool guy and tell him what I said, but understand this list isn't published anywhere. This is something that I have come up with myself. So, getting ready to go do some programming. Let's go over some manufacturers here. So, if you're going to program General Motors vehicles, I suggest you stick with 2006 and newer model year on any GM car. Yes, you can do stuff prior to 06. There's going to be a lot to debate on that. But prior to 06, you have to remember that General Motors was using the Tech 2, which is very slow. And a lot of the protocols from prior to 06 are not supported J2534. And sometimes the function actually has to request the information using the Tech 2. So if you're going to program something prior to 2006, I recommend you either use the Tech 2 or have a Tech 2 at your disposal. So take that for what it's worth. Also, it's one of the few manufacturers that I recommend a specific J2534 device. I recommend the Drew Cardac Plus 3 or whatever's the current the Drew Cardac, the Mongoose, the Cardac M, whatever you want. I just recommend going with the Drew products for General Motors because you can load tech to win once you've purchased it on a laptop and run the Tech 2 software with about 90% of its capabilities through a J2534 device from Drew. Now, I know there's some hacks out there to do it a different way, but this is my recommendation to do it the right way. So, Ford. J2534 is different from OE. You can program just about everything 2000 or just about everything J2534 with Ford. There are a few exceptions, the medium speed, CAN bus. Uh, if you're doing a lot of Fords, I do recommend you just get the OE tool, the IDS. So Chrysler, I do not recommend doing with a J2534 device at all. It's too slow, it's too unstable, and it's too expensive. So either do Chrysler with the OE tool or just leave it alone. Toyota and Honda have kind of made the decision that the OE tool and J2534 is the same. So you purchase the software from the website and you have the same capability with a few immobilizer restrictions. Uh, if you have an LSID, you can get past that. So for the most part, it's the same. It's Toyota is one of the best for J2534. They actually tasked Drew with coming up with an interface that they could sell their uh, software reasonably to the aftermarket repair shops to make it reasonably priced uh, to, to have the OE software. There are a few restrictions with that, but very few. Honda is the same as J2534, but the software is a pain in the butt to load. Uh, I'll just leave it at that. It, be prepared to load some software and pre be prepared for it not to work when you're done. So, is what it is. It's fairly inexpensive though compared to Toyota. Toyota's pretty expensive compared to to Honda. Nissan recently has come up with their R2R software. They claim you can program all the way back to 98. My recommendation is 2007 and newer. And it's it's a time thing, it's a stability thing. That's my recommendation. Let's just leave it at that. BMW. 
I do not recommend J2534 programming at all on BMWs, and especially not F and G chassis. So they do give you the same capability for the diagnostic side as the dealer, but don't do any programming. So there's my recommendation on that. And then a couple of the other European manufacturers, Jaguar, Land Rover, uh, it's the same as J2534 for the OE software. It does take a while to set up, but it works pretty good when it's done. Same thing with Volvo. Uh, Volvo's not so much time consuming to set up as it is just plain as difficult. So J2534 device will work on a lot of manufacturers, but understanding some of the, re the restrictions this is, like I said, this is my recommendation list of what to get. And I've already went through where to buy the tools and stuff like that. I do carry all the, I do carry several J2534 devices. So, thanks for watching. I'm probably going to do another one, another one on the series here. I'm probably going to dive into this a little bit more and then we're going to do some setting up of individual manufacturers and how to do programming at individual manufacturers from start to finish not just the the process so all right questions comments criticisms concerns down below keep them clean or i delete them if you want to see something specific put it in there i might have already have the video done i've got lots of videos or recordings that are done. I just haven't put them into video format and uploaded them. So if you're looking for something specific, let me know. I might have it. If not, we can do some research to see what we can find. Have a great day.